ஹாய் ஹலோ வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் பேக் டு எட் அனதர் எபிசோட் ஆன் லிட்டில் ஸ்லா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஸோ ரீசெண்ட்லி வி டேட் அ வீடியோ ஆன் ஹவு டு இன்டெக்ரேட் தி ஜேமீட்டர் வித் இன்ஃப்ளக்ஸ் டிபி அலாங் வித் தி கிரஃபானா ஸோ வி ரேன் அ டெஸ்ட் இன் ஜேமீட்டர் அண்ட் தேட் ஹாஸ் பீன் கேப்சர்ட் பை தி இன்ஃப்ளக்ஸ் டிபி அண்ட் தட் ஹாஸ் பீன் சென்ட் டு தி கிரஃபானா as a visualization values and then we have we found like it's it's so interesting and we were able to see the values so in this video we will see two part one is the graph the grafana and the second part is the backend listener so many of the people have many of the subscribers in fact sorry have asked about a video on backend listener so that's the reason i'm creating this video so i am just i'll just give you a uh, overview on how does this backend listener works and what are all the other options that we have with the backend listener so before we move on to the video this is me yours and shanmugam i welcome you all to little sir youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe support share and like the video and comment your questions and feedback in the comment section so let me just open the grafana for you so here i've got the grafana let me just open one of the dashboard say this is the one which i have favorite so that's the reason i can find it in the home screen okay i'll i'll just even show you how to do all this in the video so first let's see about the backend listener so this is again one of the one of the listener which is something similar to the other listeners but this is quite different because the typical output from apache jmeter is a csv result file so here we can we can see the summary report or any of the other reports so that actually gives a csv result file so here in fact you can see the view results tree so if you run a test we can send them as a csv result file but this backend listener is something quite different because we don't only create or we not only create the csv file but apart from this we can send this data or we can report this data or like we can report the test data using this listener to an external party to a third party like grafana okay and apart from that does this support only influx db no it also supports the other major technologies it supports elastic which is on cloud and it's on on premise and in fact it supports influx db which we all know and then the new one which is the other one which is the azure so it supports even the azure so let's see one by one so the first part is the graphite so here let me choose let me open the graphite here so for the graphite backend we need to supply the graphite host so here you can you can see the graphite host which is the second variable or the argument and the graphite port so graphite port which is default 2003 so then we can also supply the sampler list and also we can add or amend the percentiles so when it comes to influx db we have already integrated it with the grafana but still for the influx db backend we need to supply the influx db url so let me just open it for a moment so the influx db is here okay so it has gone down so yeah here is the influx db so here we have got the we have to change the url so which we all know since we have did in the previous video anyways let me do it again so here is the url we have to copy paste it here and then the db which is integrate jmeter so we have to give this and then apart from that we have to change the application name and we can add or remove the summary and the event tags so what are the other plugins which are available as part of this listener so we have got azure we have got elastic search we have got kafka and the jmeter listener pack so for the azure so what do we need for azure So for the Azure backend, we need to supply the test name 
the instrumentation key and the live metrics. So by if we supply this, then we can use this listener to view the results. Then for the elastic search, so let me just open the elastic search here. So for the elastic search, we need to supply the es.host here. The screen that you can see the screen then we can supply a plethora of other es options which we can see on this screen screen here so same way for the kafka so let me just open the kafka and show you so here we have got the kafka listeners over the kafka backend we need to supply the kafka.bootstrap.service then we can supply the other es options which you can see on the screen so by supplying all these options can extract the values like we need for the Grafana. So far, we have seen about the backend listener and the options which are available for the various other technologies like Azure, for the InfluxDB, for the Kafka, and the Graphite. So now let's move to the Grafana. So let me just open the Grafana here. So let me just show you some of the options which we have. So this is the dashboard which we have used last time. And then we have got this option. So on the top right, you can see we have got different time ranges where we can see for the last five minutes. Since I did not run any tests for the last five minutes, you cannot see any values here. So same way, I can change it to last three hours and you can see the time ranges for the last three hours and you can see the total request here. Or else I can even change it to last one hour. And you can see there are like request spikes during this time. So this is the time where I have executed the test. And apart from this, we can even sorry, we can even set the time range. So, for example, if you run the test for a particular one hour, so you can set up give the time range here, and using that, you can ex ex get the extract or you can get the exact report. So that's why we use this time range part because sometimes if you do not know, then we might. There are chances where we might miss the values. So that's the reason we have to use this time range to get the exact report. And then there are like other options where we can add any rows in case if you want to add any rows, we can add it through this. And if you want to import from library, you can import any panels from the library. And we can choose this visualization to see how does this went. Let me just open here again. Let me just open it and go back to the last three hours. So let me go back to the home. And so if you are in the home and you need to view some of the dashboards which you want to see every time or if you want to like frequently access it, how can you do that? So here you can see on the screen, you can see that I have the report available immediately. So how did it do that is I have marked this as favorite. So when you mark it as favorite, just go back to the home, click on the dashboard, just remember the name and then yeah, you get this report. So this way you can easily access the reports. Okay, so now we can access the report. So what about exporting or sending these results? So there are like several options which Grafana has given. So you can log the time range, then you can copy this URL, send it to your team through an email or through chat, and then they can automatically view the results anytime from anywhere inside your network. Then you have got the snapshot where you can take a local snapshot and you can send those results to the team. So it's an instant way of, so you can, you can see, you've got the value and you can send it to the team. And then they can instantly watch the snapshot value. The next option is the export. So you can either save it as a file, you can send this file to your team. So let me just open this file and we'll see how does it work. So this is the format of the file. So you can see it's a JSON file. And we can use this to watch. So these are some of the options which we can use. So we have got link, we have got snapshot, and we have got the export. So these are the options. Or these are the like additional options. I would say these are most essential options which you can use it to export your reports.
and then in case if you want to share a particular data you can even send them you can just click on this three dots on the top and you can click on view so this will be in a big screen so in case if you want to like view it in a more detailed manner you can just view it and let's see what are the other options we have so you can share this you can do an inspect they can copy you can create a library panel in case if you want to create a library panel so these are some of the options which we have got with the grafana dashboard so we will explore some of the other dashboards in our upcoming videos and also we'll see about more listeners in our upcoming video we will try to connect it through to the kafka or to the azure or to the elastic search in our upcoming videos so until then it's bye bye from us and little slaw